So we started to get some nice effects here laying up our shaders. So now what we need to do is just push it a little bit further, um, use a couple more of our masks, and then we'll have a really good sort of base to start putting clouds and things into the scene and then rendering. So um, let's continue on. And we're going to start with just once again, going into our albedo textures and just giving them a little bit of breakup with some noise again. Um, it's going to be the same way, so we'll go AI color correct and drop that into our base color. And in this instance, we're going to borrow that noise we created again. We'll just copy it if we can find it. There it is. So let's just copy that. Make sure you don't have anything selected when you use the control C in here. Sometimes you end up copying geometry. So control C and then let's go here, control V. And with the noise, let's just increase the regularity a little bit. We could play with some of the other settings, but for the time being, this will do. So let's just drop the red channel into the mask. Once again, we'll just give it a boost in the exposure. And that'll introduce some breakup. So there's that's a, another little bit of breakup. But the, the main thing now is we want to have a look at using the sediment mask. Um, so we can essentially bring in another um, Sort of shader from bridge and use that sediment mask to start just once again adding another layer of detail so you can see it's a recurring thing here we're just layering things up bit by bit um, until we get a result that we're pleased with so in this in this instance we've got a few more you know nice um mega scans assets i'm going to go for the soil hardened um i think this looks like it will do the job for uh what we want so i'm just gonna make sure i've got yeah, so I'm going to create an AI mix before I bring that in. So mix shader, I'm going to pipe in the foliage mix to shader one. I'm going to call this sediment, sediment mix. Okay. So let's just, when, when we bring our, our shader in, it will just help us neatening it up. So. We've only, oh, let's bring in, oh, we, I don't know if I've got a 4K option. We'll try it and see if we can export that. Yep. Okay. So here it is. Soil hardened. Let's feed that into shader two. Once again, tile it big time. And we're going to bring in our sediment mask, which I think is the best mask. And drop another AI range in there. The AI range, if you've not used it before, the AI range is a really handy um, node that just helps you remap the ranges of your, your mask. So this has been one of the most useful nodes for this sort of thing, because we can, rather than go back and sort of meddling with the masks in uh, Houdini, <clears throat> we can just go ahead and and remap them here. So that's quite nice. So let's drop the red channel in and I know we're going to have to do a bit of work with this because it's quite a weak. Like you you saw the the preview; it's quite, the, the 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 mask is quite subtle. So let's just see what we have and then just use AI range to nudge the values. So yeah, there's not a lot going on there. So let's just mess around with the values till we see. Oh yeah, here we go. We just need to get some sort of strong effect going. Ah, okay. 
All right, we'll need to dial this back and just... There we go. <laughs> but it's a little bit too much, but uh, if we create, turn the input max to 0 0.1 and then play around with the output max. Might need to be even lower than that, 0 0.01. There we go. And then the output max we can just mess around with. Yeah. So you had to go for a really low value there. But now you can see we're getting some debris appearing. Might be something we want to push a little bit more. Let's push it really far and just see how, how much debris we end up with. And maybe see if we can go even lower on this input max. Zero, five. Yeah. Okay. That's looking good. So let's just drop the uh, the output max now just a little bit. See. Find a nice middle ground. Yeah, that's looking quite good now. So we could um, play with a couple of values here. Maybe it could be a little bit too dark, but um, again, in this process of layering up, we're not going to worry too much about um, that yet. So we'll just continue layering things up and then we'll do some final tweaks in the next lesson and uh, and get it to, to where we want it to be. 